Hey Dreamies, it's Bish from the Blood Bank, and it's Friday. I'm here to discuss week one's topic of why did you start watching True Blood and what makes you a fan. I want to do real bad things with you. Well, I started watching it because I like to watch as many movies and TV shows as possible. That's what I like to talk about. You know, I make friends um, doing it, obviously. It's a big time waster. I don't want to say waster because, I mean, I'm not wasting time watching True Blood. I mean, hey, it's awesome. But, okay, when the first season came out on DVD, I remember I Netflixed the first disc because I didn't want to buy the whole thing. It was like 50, 60 bucks, and that was a little bit out of my budget. So, I was going through a bad breakup, and there was one night I couldn't sleep, so I popped in the first disc. I was a little disappointed that there was like only two or three, I think it was two episodes on the first disc. Flew through them, and I was hooked, because I really liked Sookie. I thought she was funny, she was cute. Actually, Anna Paquin is hot, but, I mean, that's coming from a girl. And I liked the whole fact that she had this gift and um, she was as intrigued, you know, as I was that she could not read Bill's mind. And the funny thing is, I thought she was calling Bill Bell, like a bell, like how you ring a bell. I didn't get that she was just laying that accent on very thick. And that became an inside joke between me and my mom. I was like, yeah, the same person's name is Bell. How cool is that? Yeah, how disappointed was I to find out that his name was Bill? I guess that was the whole thing what she was saying. Okay. Anyways, I kept on complaining to my mom the next day about how I'd have to wait a couple days to get the next disc. And, you know, I was really talking it up, and she took her happy ass to Target and bought the whole season and let me watch it first. And my parents watched it. They love it. Um, they're fans, and so it's really cool to be able to share that with them. And I'm so glad I didn't watch it with them because I'd be like, oh. I don't want to be watching this with my parents, <laughs> but ever since then, you know, it's been like a, almost like a religious thing. I have to keep up with it as much as possible, and what makes me a fan is that I've always been drawn to supernatural storylines, you know, vampires, werewolves, aliens, you name it, I'll probably watch it. I don't know, I just really liked that they blur the typical vampire into modern society. You know, like, the biggest example is the first episode, you know, the first scene in season one. The couple goes into the gas station. You assume that it's the guy back behind the counter because he's wearing black, you know, he's, like, dirty, like, just really shady looking, crosses, everything, he, you know, and it turns out to be the big old hillbilly back behind him, you know. I thought that was cool. Some people thought it was corny, but, I mean, if you think about it, it's really smart. It's, you know, about don't stereotype. I, I just really like that. And the writers, they're funny, <laughs> hilarious, you know, sarcastic, sharp, and I just, I love it. I mean, the characters are all unique. I mean, they're, <laughs> you won't find another Lafayette or Terry or Pam, you know. It just makes them really cool and... I'm glad it's on HBO because it's allowed to be gratuitous in more ways than one. I mean, I don't think it would be as uh, popular if it wasn't making us go, wow, one week from an exploding vampire, and then, wow, the next week to Bill crawling out of a grave naked and mounting Suki on the ground. I mean, and hey, I'm not going to mention that other sex scene right now. No. We're just going to try and forget about that one. Ugh. I guess, and also, because I'm a girl, I enjoy love stories, and more importantly, love triangles, because how many of us are going to go through that? <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, Tree Blood has been great entertainment for me, and I hope it continues to be for a very long time. It's as simple as that. So, it's Fish from the Blood Bank, and please stay tuned for more.